as you can see we have a, a freshly sanded floor here make sure you've done all your sanding and hoovered thoroughly before you start staining just remember that you can't stain a floor that has a finish on it because it's a, what we're doing is applying a coloured dye we're actually dyeing the surface of the wood a lot of people seem to ask if they can stain their floors when they've already got a finish on them. You can't do that. You have to sand off the previous finish, get back to bare wood, and then apply the, the stain to the bare wood. In this video, I'm just going to show you the physical techniques of how to do it and all the information about products and potential problems that you can run into are going to be in the article, which if you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, is going to be linked in the... Um, uh, in the description box below um, but if you're watching on the website then just read below for all the other information um, so make sure you've got some gloves on and uh, you should also be wearing a mask especially if you're using a solvent stain it can really be strong obviously I'm not going to use one because I need to speak so uh, hopefully I won't get too high on the fumes okay Make sure you shake the, uh, the can of stain before you pour it out. And once you've poured it out, make sure you give it a good mix and, and mix it periodically throughout the process. Now, one thing you've got to remember is that you are, you need to keep going at a consistent speed to prevent dry lines. As soon as you, are, you slow down too much or you leave it a line too long, it will create an edge, a patch that you'll see by the end. So it's, it's all about speed. And in that train of thought, you wanna start along the back edge here, because if you do create any lines, you want it to be going with the grain of the wood. And then you go along the end, because you don't want that to create lines. load up your rag with a bit of stain and your rag on and then you rag off
and uh, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see from this angle but you've got to sort of come back on yourself you've got to stain a little bit rag a little bit stain a little bit rag a little bit and work your way back to the door this is usually the part where you can create sort of patchiness so you've got to be fairly quick this helpful please click like and uh, check out some of my other videos